Okay, so this time I'm going to give you a beautiful smoked mackerel patty recipe. It's just absolutely gorgeous. There's so much you can do with a patty recipe from enjoying it on its own to adding it to a little bit of crackers, brown bread, pomegranate seeds, cranberries, a little bit of dill, lemon, creme fraiche. There's just so much to do with it as a patty. So it's really about knowing that it's in the fridge and ready for you. And that, particularly if you're entertaining or you have family or a small uh, gathering around. So the mackerel itself, it's really just a case of a cold blend of bringing everything together. But this maple wood smoked mackerel, again from Atlantic Treasures, it's gorgeous, it's full, shiny, oily, because the family handpick the best mackerel that lands in Killy Beggs to go into their products. And that shouldn't be underestimated. That is the strength and uniqueness about this beautiful, beautiful mackerel. So I'm using a sweet chili sauce deliberately, keeping all of this cold and ingredients that you can get your hands on very quickly. About two tablespoons. So this is Thai Gold, which is an Irish company that Nev Maguire introduced me to. Um, and they're just fantastic, really clean labeled, perfect for, for gluten free and so on as well. Two tablespoons of that and then a soft cream cheese going in here, about 75 grams. with about 500 grams of the um, maple wood smoked mackerel in this recipe. And also mayonnaise, I mean, who doesn't have a bit of mayonnaise? Um, again, about 75 grams of that going in. And all we're gonna do then is just blend this together, but it needs a little bit of lemon juice. And I prefer just to use some fresh where I can. I'm gonna use about a half a lemon straight in there and that'll give that the zinginess. We know about the mackerel being naturally salted. We know about the dryness coming from the smoke. That's just a beautiful flavor, that sort of dry smoky flavor. So in blending it all together, you're balancing out all of the taste buds. So it really depends now how smooth you actually want this. Okay, so there's a look at that. And switch on your blender and we're gonna stay with it and check it periodically to see if we can retain a little bit of the sort of feel and mouth feel of the mackerel. Okay, I'm definitely happy enough with that in terms of its consistency. So look, I've retained some of the patty. I can see the ingredients through that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it into a piping bag. I just find, if I can hold on to it, I just find that it's easier just to pipe it into a couple of little glass jars like this that'll keep perfectly in the fridge. So fill up that piping bag. Now, what's left to do is just, you can either put that piping bag straight into the fridge and allow it to chill before using it, or we can just cut a hole in the bottom and we can fill up our little jars about three quarters of the way, like so. There we go. And a little bit on the bottom of one of these because what I would tend to do here, that is perfect, is I would put a little bit of melted butter just in on top of these and it will allow them just to set with a small bit of parsley. There we go. Small bit of parsley just in there. And then when that sets, we'll just put a bit of it clarified melted butter into it. Again, I'd serve that with a little bit of brown bread or some Melba toast. That's all it needs but there's a gorgeous flavor comes off that. But we also have lots of other little alternatives that you can do with that. Lid on that, into the fridge, let those set. They'll go cold and they'll become the most spreadable, beautiful patty using the smoked mackerel maple wood from Atlantic Treasures. And again, a beautiful taste of Ireland, Donegal and Killybegs on your table. So I've let that patty set, um, which is now perfect. So you can just take that with a spoon, spread it onto a bit of bread, rye bread, brown bread, some wheaten bread. It's all just going to apply beautifully, but also for some canopies. I've got some like little rye crackers here, which just give a lovely kind of sourness. And I'm just gonna spread a little bit of that patty onto that. And beetroot is fantastic with it. Now you'll see I'm cutting the beetroot on cling film. <laughs> just keeps your board from get and die, and a lovely little thin slice of pickled beetroot, and a herb, just a bit of dill onto the top of that. And they're absolutely gorgeous, um, just to serve as little canopies at the start of a, a day or an evening. I've done the same with just some brown bread of my traditional brown bread recipe. And again, just a nice, generous, last minute pipe of the patty. And it means their finger grab and go, handheld. They're just perfect for that sort of guest coming along. 
And again, you can finish these whatever way you want. Creme fraiche, also beautiful. Just in and alongside that. I've served it up with, as a platter, some canopies, you know, a teaspoon going in there, some pickled cucumber, which I love with this. But again, you can just put this in the middle of a table or walk around with it when you have family together this year. But to me, that's a good way to showcase a beautiful mackerel patty from Atlantic Treasures. And please enjoy these beautiful recipes. Thank you.